Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, give God a big round of applause. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we ought to be glad and rejoice in what He has done. The day is also a very special day that we celebrate the Lord's Supper. And I've been saying to all the ones that partook or uh, have partaken of the Lord's Supper that we ought to be extremely Amen. happy and glad. There was times when we didn't always do right. There was times we didn't always live right. And there was times that we didn't know what God has done for us. So it always uh, is good for you to always go back and remember those times. It will cause you to look down on others less. Amen. Amen. Because you're too busy examining and looking at your own self so you don't have time to look at nobody else. Amen. Come on, help me if you can because if you examine yourself rightly, if it had not been for the Lord, come on, say that again. I said, if it had not been for the Lord that was on your side, you wouldn't be here. How many know that you're just maybe one or two paychecks away from being on the corner? Come on, help me if you can. Don't get too big here. Always be grateful and thankful what God has done. Amen. Uh, glad that you're here. I'm glad that you're watching on today. Uh, the day, uh, this month is a very special month because it's my anniversary. Amen. My anniversary. I think I'll be 14 years that I've been serving the Lord here at Mount Gilead. And it will be 34 years that I've been saved. Come on, help me if you can. So I've been saved 34 years. That means 29 years. If you do your math. I was doing what I wanted to do. And, and, and that's why I always thank God for what he's done for me. So I always thank him. And I, and I, I'm always saying, Lord, so please forgive me. Sometimes we thank stuff that we should thank. So Lord, I thank you. And we want you to join in with us. We have some powerful uh, uh, praise worshipers in the house. We have our praise team. We have our music department. Uh, uh, we have one of our, our associates that's going to bring the word on today. My friend, uh, none other than Reverend Rodney Easton. Uh, Reverend uh, Gerald, Gerald P. Wright will be preaching next Sunday. And then the, my anniversary is on the 16th. Right. Reverend Larry Malbo will be here preaching that, that Sunday. Uh, on the 23rd, uh, Reverend Elder Gary Holly will be here. And then I'm still waiting. We are on the 30th. It, 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 it probably will be Reverend Roy Diller, but I'm waiting on him to let me know. Amen. If not, I'll preach for him. Amen. Come on, help me again. Go be in the hands of our praise team. Oh, yeah. 
today. I'm going to ask that you would all stand to your feet. Amen. Amen. Raise your right hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And receive the speaker yes. for today. Amen. None other than a real good friend of mine, uh, the son of one of our founding members. All right, all right. One that uh, know what it is. Know what it is. Not to be saved. All right. One that does a lot of work around this church. Yes, yes, yes Cleaning and cutting. Yes, yes. All type of stuff. Yes, you could always call on Reverend Easton. Amen. 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 That's why I was stalling. Because he was doing something then. All right. Amen. So I just said I'd give a little summary about him, but he is in his own way. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Maybe see it for a minute. Praise the Lord. Uh, thank God for another opportunity to be in his presence. Yes. Thank God for another opportunity to be a chosen vessel. Amen. I, I thank God for waking me up this morning. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I thank God for Pastor Ford and Lord. Sister Ford, First Lady. Yeah, thank uh, you, sir. Happy pre-anniversary. Thank you. Uh, I thank God for the way he is using them in Mount Gilead. Amen. But personally, in my life. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Which is part of my title, which is the characteristics of a great leader. All right. Yeah. And when I say that, I'm not just talking about me. Uh -huh. I'm talking about a great leader. Great leader. Yeah. Because yeah. God is the one that chooses and yeah. chose the leaders. Right. And He also right. the one that put what He wants yeah. in that leader. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, and that's yes, going to be a sir. part of my message. But I give all honor to God that he allowed me to come before you all today and share this message. Yes. Um, I dedicate this message to Pastor Ford yes. and First Lady Ford. All right. Because they are great leaders. Yes, they and they are. lead by yes. example. Yes. And they lead with their heart. They lead with the spirit. Yes. They lead, they lead with love. Amen. Yes. Yes. And I also dedicate it to Pastor Bruce Washington and First Amen. Lady Lisa Washington. Amen. Well, all right, all right. Because yes. since I've been knowing them, yes, they sir. are some very important people and great leaders in my life, Amen. as well as influencers. Amen. 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 And I thank God mm -hmm. for bringing these all these together. Yeah, right. yeah, so yeah. I am truly blessed yeah. to have all kinds and types of leaders mm -hmm. in my life and role yeah. models. Oh, uh, I got. My late father in ministry, Pastor Randall, a great teacher and a great leader. Man. Uh, Pastor David Okuma, Dr. David Okuma, who first ordained me when I graduated from the World Evangelism Bible right. School in Southwest Houston. All right. He's a great leader in my life and, I, and he's still associated in my life today. Yeah. But this is my father in ministry, yeah. which I am proud to say and Amen. proud to have. Amen. And, um, and I do this message, which is the characteristic of a great leader in the loving memory of my father, Horst Easton, who just passed away July yes, the 7th, yeah. who transitioned. Amen? Amen. I can't speak to on him as a leader, but I can speak to him on him as a good father Amen. and All a right. good man. Right. And that's who I knew. And that's how I know him. Amen? Amen. Uh, and I thank God for him and his life, 92 years that he lived. Amen. 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 And so the 62 years he's been in my life, amen, yeah, yeah, yeah. and in my family. Amen. And I'm going to share some more on that because uh, sometimes in this, in this text, you all cannot see everything that's in this text. You have to read the previous chapters. Right. It, start, oh, yes. it starts in 2 Samuel and carry on to 1 Kings right. chapter 1. Yeah. And my text is in uh, 1 Kings chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. Amen. And Amen. if you will stand with me, I'll be coming out New American Standard. Amen. All right. The reason I say this is because 
There's a lot leading up to this text. All right. And this is a father and son deal. All Amen. Right. That's why this message is so personal to me. And God gave me this message even before he called my father home. Mm. And when he did call my father home, one of my sisters called me and asked me, was I going to be able to come to Atlanta? And they wanted me to eulogize him. All right. And due to the fact he's a military man, we had a hard time, and with this COVID virus, we had a hard time getting the schedule to go yes, together. Yes. So I wasn't able to do the unity, but I was able to say my goodbyes. Amen. Amen. And God, and I did get a chance to see it live stream. Amen. So we went home with honors. Amen. Amen. But what I'm saying, this is a father son thing. Amen. Amen. And, 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 and I'm going to explain and, and set this up for you because there's a lot in this text. You can't see. Amen? You do oh, not see. All right. I'm going to my glasses. Okay. Reading from 1 Kings chapter 2, <coughs> verse 1, New American Standard. It said, As David's time to die drew near, he chose Solomon his son, saying, I am going the way of all the earth. Be strong, therefore, and show yourself a man. All them key points in the, in, the, in the message here. Verse 3, and keep the charge of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. To keep his statutes, his commandments, his ordinances, and his testimonies according to what is written in the law of Moses. That you may succeed in all that you do and wherever you go. So, the thought of my message, the characteristics of a great leader. Now, you may be seated. This message have like a two two fold to it, two part to it, uh, because first I'll be talking about the characteristics of a great leader, yes. and then we have to understand what does it mean to have the characteristics, because uh, you can have all the gifts in the world, but if you don't do nothing with them, what do they mean? Mm. So all that's right, going to be right. the, the latter part of the message. It's very important because it's some people sitting here today that has the characteristic of a great leader, yes. but they are not leading no one. Yes, sir. Right. Right. They're not doing what God right. wants them to do. Right. So it's very important that you understand it's just not enough to have the characteristics right. of a leader because yes. we got to understand as they read in Ephesians, uh, Sister Paul, as they read in Ephesians, we That's were right. predestined. God has already deposited some yeah. things in us when we were born and when he yeah. called us to life. Yeah. Amen? Right. Right. And so there are some things that's already deposited in you because yeah. God already knows what he wants you to become right. and the way he wants you to go. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Excuse me for a minute. Most precious Father, Lord, I thank you right now. Right I right. surrender all unto you, Lord, that yes. you come by way of Holy Spirit yes. and speak to me and speak through me, Heavenly yes. Father. Bring yes. all to remembrance what you have me to say yes. to your people, Heavenly Father. And Lord, let me speak in a timely fashion in a wise manner, Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. Lord, there's so much to share, but yes. you bring forth what you want me, myself, and your people to hear and to know in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, like I say, and I want y'all to you put on your spiritual imagination right. because we better take a trip. Right. And we get in this jet. Right. And the name of this airline is called Trinity Airlines. Right. Trinity. Reasons yeah. called Trinity Airlines are because we got three captains. Yeah. We got the God the Father, yeah. we got God the Son, yeah. and we got the Holy Spirit. Right, right, right. So those right. will be our captains. Okay. And me, myself, I will be your steward to sweat okay. a day. Okay. And my name is Keep It Real. Keep Amen. It real. Right. So and that's what I'm going to try to do all through the message is keep it real. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. I might ask y'all to help me along the way and yeah. say, what's my name? And y'all will say, keep it real. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Now, what I'm saying is that we're going to be traveling along the way. We're going to yeah. be picking up some people along the way. All right. But this airline is set up to help all those who get on board, right, amen? Right, right, right. Who all those who choose to come aboard, amen? Right, amen? Now there are some that may choose to take this ride, but they might not be prepared for the ride. Right. 
as I stated. They might have already been got their ticket and planned their trip and already know where when it's coming. But they might have so many other things they want to do, and they might not be ready for this trip. Amen. Right, 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 right. Now, here it is. David, King David, is giving a charge to his son. Now, remember, David started off when he was just a lad. Yeah. So he started off very young. Here it is. Solomon is just a lad, too. He's starting off very young. Right. But the most the important words, thing I need we all to understand, this is Solomon's sixth son. Yeah. His fifth or his sixth son. On, so man. there were other sons before Solomon. Right, right, and I'm telling right, you right. this for a very important thing. This uh -huh. is why this charge is taking place. Amen? Now, I'm telling you this for a very, very important reason. Now, you had other sons that were before him in, in normally, in biblical days, the elders would be the first in line right. to right. inherit yeah. Yeah. whatever the father had. In this case, the kingdom. Right. 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 The throne. Right. Yeah. And we know how things like that go. When you got something that important to inherit, yeah. it's going to be some trouble in paradise. Right. Amen? Right. 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 Because yeah. Everybody want a piece of the pie, yeah. but everybody yeah. don't want to share the pie. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Right. Everybody want to get to the throne. Yeah. Everybody wants to own the throne, yeah. but everybody ain't qualified yeah. right. Right. for right. 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 the right. throne. Right. Right. Amen? Amen. That's yeah. why God has chosen. God chosen Solomon. He, he, God and David, was, the, the Solomon was divinely chosen All to right. be the next king. Amen. Now, a lot of times, we don't understand and know how to celebrate a person's glory because we don't understand their story. Right, 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 right. In order to understand and celebrate the glory, you need to know and understand the story. That's why a lot of Christians and believers struggle today because they don't know how and understand how to celebrate. And it's a, we should bask in his what? In his glory. They don't, we don't know how to bask in his glory because we're not understanding fully the story. Amen. What Jesus went through Amen. to get to where we are today. Right, speak the word. Speak the word. So we have to understand the story yeah. before we realize and appreciate the glory. Right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Now here it is. David went through a lot of things. Uh -huh. Now. David was here on his deathbed. David was weak and feeble. Uh -huh. Now, it used to be men, people used to live hundreds and hundreds of years. Right. But in the dispensation of Noah, God cut it to 120. Okay. Okay? Right. So David right. was really young. He was just 70 years old at this time. Oh, okay. right. Right. But David became a king as a teenager. Okay. So he still was a king for many oh, years. Many years. Okay? Now, okay, and so here it is. Um, he's given Solomon charge because any time, and see, so we're talking about government here. Right. Yeah. And any time you got people in powerful places, you got other people who's trying to get that place right. they got. Right. So we always got to understand no matter what you're going through, you got enemies. Yeah. If anybody in this room think that they don't have an enemy, don't let the devil fool you. Because if you're doing anything that pleases God, then you got an enemy. I guarantee you, you got an enemy. You might not know he or she or see he or she, but you got an enemy. I guarantee you. And now, here it is, David had to go through some things because he had enemies. And guess what? The most serious thing about his enemy, they were in his own family. Yeah. My God, my God. Yeah. See, where you at or who you are, who you are. Yes, sir. it's make the difference who you serve. Come on. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. See, yeah. you can have yeah. some of the most loving family members yeah. and friends, yeah. Yeah. but Start serving God yeah. and see how loving and serving and caring yeah. they continue to be. Right, right, right. Long story short, one of David's sons was Absalom. Yeah. And David's weakness, see, 
That's what family members, that's what friends do. Now, true friends, I'm keeping it real. True friends will not do what I'm trying to say. True friends will not take advantage of you when you're going through things. True friends will not step on you or step over you to get to where they want to go when you're going through things. True friends will not pass you by just like the Good Samaritan will not pass you by when they see you in need of help. Amen? But here it is. You got friends and family members who not out for your best interest. Because they have their own agenda. So Absalom, one of David's son, he wanted to overthrow the kingdom and take it from his father yeah. because he knew his father was in weakness. My God, my God, my God. And guess what the devil do? I was listening to Charles Sanders this morning. Yeah, and this uh -huh. is what he talking yeah, about. Yeah, the that. devil okay. preys on our weakness and don't you ever think that the devil don't know when yeah, you're weak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. devil knows when you are weak and where you yeah. are weak. Yeah. If anybody in here say they don't have no weakness, be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody got a weakness. Yeah. And the devil knows your yeah. weakness. Yeah. It's his job. Yeah, it's his job. All right, come on That's with you. He master in attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. Satanic attacks. Yeah. Now here it is. Absalom wanted to overthrow David's kingdom. Long story short, uh, David's nephew. Joel found out about it, and David was trying to protect Absalom, but he ended up killing Absalom, and David didn't like that, so he became an enemy of David, Joel, and this is a family member, an in-law, whatever. Now, here it is, the other one was Ananiah, Niger. This is another one, Solomon's brother. Yeah. Ananiah wanted to take the kingdom he done went and grabbed his little posse, what we call clicks. Yeah, yeah, he went yeah, and got yeah. a click together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, All right. Had a feast. Yeah. Made a party and claimed himself king. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, he did. Yeah. But Nathan the prophet yeah. and Bathsheba, y'all remember Bathsheba? Yeah. Uh -huh. Bathsheba is Solomon's mother. Okay. Now David had a lot of wives. Yeah. Now, Bathsheba is Solomon's mother. And David had already ordained and made a promise that Solomon would be the next heir to the throne. All right. But a lot of people didn't know that. Right. A lot of people don't know what's going on in the ministry word for word and move for move. But you have to trust God that knowing that my Gilead is going in the right direction because we got a great leader. Amen. 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 And God placed him there. Amen. Right. So we got to trust that we are following the right person. Yes. And we are following a divine great leader because God divinely put him here. Amen. Amen. Now, here it is. Uh, David, this is, I'm, I'm telling you all this because this is why this charge is coming about. Okay, so Dave, no story short, they went to David and told him a little bit about that uh, Ananiah is plotting to take over the kingdom. And if David don't move and declare who's king, it would have happened. So David, even on his deathbed, had to get two witnesses, which was Nathan and Bathsheba, and say, Solomon is the one that I want to be king. Yeah. Right, right. So he got his prophet. He got the ones that did turn against him. Right. See, everybody ain't going to turn on you. Right. But the only way you're going to know that is through the Holy Spirit because yeah. you can't know everybody's yeah. heart. Yeah. So you need the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That's why I say we got three pilots here. Because yeah. we need all three pilots yeah. to get to where we're going. Yeah. And right now we have the Bible. Amen? Amen. And so here it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, David had to go make a move and, and proclaim Solomon king before all this overthrow took place. Right. Amen? Because here it is. Somebody say, I'm king. They're just like somebody coming up here and say, well, pastor ain't teaching the way I want him to teach, so I'm going to be the pastor. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for you. <laughs> but I'm just using that. That's what people do yeah. with, uh -huh. with, with 
with hidden agendas. Right. That's all what right, people do right. when they want to overthrow something. They right, go right, get right. some help. They go get some yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yes sir. Some people that say yes right, me right, and right, things right. like that. You know what I'm saying? So, somebody to go along with them. Yeah, yeah. And, but they ain't going to be in the front. They're going to yeah. try to push some ones, put these in other people's back and make the move. Amen? Yeah. All right, yeah. all right. But they got these hidden agendas. Amen? Uh -huh. Now, so here it is, Solomon is giving, I mean, David is giving Solomon this charge. All right. After he done made him king and he anointed him and he did all that. So my first point is, he said to David, so Solomon, you got to be strong. Yes. yes. And when he said in that, you got to be consistent, you got to be constant, uh -huh. and you got to continue the work that's already started. That's right, right. Yeah. Right, right. Solomon didn't establish the throne. Right. Yes, he didn't yes. establish the kingdom. Right. It was already established. Right. So why are you going to come in and try to change everything that's already taken place? Just as like we, we thank God for new members. Yes. And sometimes people are coming from different ministries. Right. And people do have good ideas. Right. But before you can throw your idea in the hat, you need to find out what's under the hat. Right. Right. Before you can say, Pastor, I want to take over this. Yeah. First, see which way the ministry is going. Right. 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 So right. you'll know how to join in. Right. Now, secondly, see how the ministry is going. First, wait on the Holy Spirit. All right, all right. All right. That's why we got three captains, because we need that help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Now, here it is. It said, be strong. Yeah. Be strong. It said, maintain uh -huh. your position. Uh -huh. All right. And be courageous. Yeah. Now, the reason I explain all that to y'all because if David had enemies, Solomon inherited enemies. Right, 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 right. See, you ain't got to do nothing to somebody to have an enemy. <laughs> you ain't got to do nothing to someone to be jealous of you. Right. You ain't got to do nothing to nobody for them to envy you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's just sometimes when you are blessed by the best, Woo! people are going to put you to the test. <laughs> and we have to understand that sometimes we want to look at what people are doing and don't realize, just like Charles Sanders said this morning, we got to have the attacks. We got to have Satan to buffer us. We got to have Satan to come at us. Because if we don't, like Pastor said about some things, sir, we would get too comfortable. Yeah. We would get too complacent. Yeah, 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 we would yeah, not yeah. do what All we right. need to be doing. Yeah. So here it is. David, on his deathbed, is encouraging his son. You right. got to be courageous. Right, right, right. right. You got to be strong. Right. be strong. Then secondly, he says, show yourself a man. My next show point. Show yourself mm -hmm. a man. What he's saying in that, in the broadest sense, yes. be bold. Woo. What? Don't be afraid of your calling. Don't be afraid of your ministry. Don't be afraid of, I, I belong to Mount Gideon. Be proud of, I belong to Mount Gideon. Be proud that Pastor Anthony Wayne Ford is my pastor. And Gloria Ford is our first lady. Be proud that we got a praise team better than all in history. Be proud to say those things. But you got to be proud. And you can't just do it behind closed doors. So he's telling him, show yourself a man. In other words, what's my name? He tell him to keep it real. That's what he tell Keep it real. Amen. See, this is a young man coming into a mighty position yeah. of power. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He said, "Show yourself a man. Show yourself. Become what you have been called to become." Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Other words, you got to grow yeah. in your position. All right. See. You, you, some people think they're not qualified for certain things. God is the one that qualifies. He will put you in a position yes, before yes, you yes, even yes, desire. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, because God already, Ephesians said, He is already predestined you. Yeah, Amen. Already he predestined. already foreknew you. Yeah, yeah. All right. And He already know, know the plans He has for your life. Yes, What's just to prosper. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, even though. All right. 
he's putting us in position and he used pastors and, and preachers and teachers and things to encourage us. Oh, man, you got a wonderful gift. Yeah. That's, is that your gift? Mm -hmm. Is that your talent? Yeah. Use it. Use it for him. Amen. For his glory. Amen. That's it. Show sure don't want to lose it. Use yeah, it. Yeah, right. yeah. Right, right, right. Now here it is. He said, pray for, be in control. When he says, yeah. show yourself a man, be in control. In control. other words, you the king. Man up. Yeah. 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 Shouldn't be no key in your back. There you go. It shouldn't be nobody twisting your arm. Right. Shouldn't nobody have the influence on you that you can't make the right decisions. Thank you. Yeah. Show yourself a man. Be in control of what God has ordained you. Be in control what God has put in your possession. Be in control of your time, of your life, of your money, of your talent, of your gifts. Be in control of what you already know belongs to God. What we already know. But he gave it to you. Thank you, Lord. To what? Steward over it. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, I'm the steward now. I, 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 I'm trying to lead by example. Come on, Reverend. You got to be a good steward if yeah. you want God to continue to bless you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, he said, be in control. Be in control. Thirdly, he said, keep the charge. Keep the yeah. charge. Keep this the charge. is talking about you got to watch uh -huh. how you act, uh -huh. you got to watch. How you carry yourself. You got to observe what you do. Just because you got all this power, just because you got all this position, don't mean you can do it however you choose. It don't mean you can do it any kind of way. So you have to observe your own self. One thing about the characteristic of a great leader, he's going to lead by example. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He just ain't going to put tasks on people and not be willing to do it himself. Yeah, yeah. A great leader is yeah. that, a leader. He's going to lead first. That's right. He's going to show you yeah. and then invite you. Amen. 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 That's the characteristics of a great leader. And, a, and it's a lot of us sitting here. God and already deposited that in our lives. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Praise the Lord. He says, you got to observe what you do. All right. And, and most importantly, it's your responsibility to safeguard against what yeah. other comes your way. You can't blame others or situations on stuff that you get yourself into or that <laughs> happen to you. Because things are going to happen to you, but you have to safeguard by how you respond with it and, and deal with it. That's it. That's it. That's how you say God. That's what it's talking about in Philippians. It said the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and will guard your mind. That's the same God. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. If you in right standing yeah. with him, which is I'm getting to that point. Right. But if you in right standing with him, you it's your responsibility to God and say God on what's coming your way. And most importantly, what God has put in your possession. Amen. 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 Here it is. Solomon. Uh -huh. David is telling him, you got to do all these things because your enemies are coming at you. That's true. Now, what I didn't tell you, and Elijah, Solomon's brother, he tried to overthrow the kingdom, right? Right. And so David never found out that David put a stop to it. Right. Ah. Right. Right. So, right. but this responsibility would pass on to Solomon. Right, right, right. right. And so Solomon spared his brother's life and right. said, You promised me mm -hmm. if you walk right and you know, do right, and do right. Mm -hmm. yeah. nothing should come, no harm should come to you. All right. All right. Now, I got to tell you some more of the story so you can understand All right. the glory. David was in his old age. Mm -hmm. So they had to go find a young woman, single woman, to come and minister to David. Mm -hmm. And what it was, because a young person is bigger, okay. 
The warmth of her body was keeping David alive. He did not have any cause to with this woman. But she was there to be his nurse and to keep him alive. Okay. Now, he did eventually die because that was God's calling. Right. But what I'm saying, this is what the, the physicians and, and the, the medical people, and they, they was, this is the only solution they came up with, yeah. to keep David alive. Yeah. Now, the reason I'm saying that her name is Abishai, the reason I'm saying that, when Solomon spared his brother's life, his brother rebelled again and wanted David's nurse, okay. which is really David's concubine. Yeah. Okay. See, it was so different back in those days. Mm -hmm. I don't care how many wives David had. Right. For me to go after one of his wives is just like me trying to overthrow his kingdom. Okay. Amen. That's how serious it was. Right. That's how serious it was. Mm -hmm. And so, here it is, his son Ananias mm -hmm. requested that he can marry David's nurse. And yeah. David had died. Yeah. But Solomon is king. Right, right, right. And so Solomon took that as a revenge. Mm -hmm. And so he done spared his brother's Amen. life once already. Yeah. But he broke the promise. Amen. Some people think promises is not important. They are. Mm. Yes. <laughs> promises okay. kept can determine a lot of things. Yes, Problems could broken can mess up a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen. And so Solomon ended up having to execute his own brother. Okay. And I'm telling y'all all, all this. Here it is, Solomon, it should be a great thing. He became king. He became but he king. lost two brothers in the process. Yeah. No. Like I say, sometimes you got to know the story to understand the glory. I'm blessed. Yes, it was a sad thing that God called my father home. But after 92 years, he lived a good life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So I'm blessed. And he was in my life. Thank you, Lord. I was the last one of Sister Easton to graduate from high school. You know, and he was there. And, and so what I'm saying is that in God calling my father home, I gave two brothers that I didn't know I had. Oh, you see? Oh. You see? Mm -hmm. and, and that's Kevin and Mark Crawford. Right. Amen. Amen. So they called my sister when they found out my dad had passed. Okay. I was a kid. Oh. I wasn't for sure that I had other brothers and sisters, but some of my older ones, they knew. They knew. They knew. And stuff. Mm -hmm. So a long story short, they called my sister and asked her, can they be a part? Yeah. Of the family. Yeah. So she contacted all of us. She said, We don't have no problem. See, Sister Easton raised us to love people. Love. Right, right, right. Yeah. Love everybody. That's right. My mother used to help people off the streets. Yeah. I had all kinds of races living in my house because right. Sister Easton was that type of person. All right. All right. So I don't know what it means to hate anybody. Yeah, yeah. That's how we were raised. All right. And so here it is. I'm saying that because I'm blessed. Yes, right. I done talked to my brothers, and man, he was so excited. I'm, I'm his older brother, but he was so excited. But God works in mysterious ways. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Now, here it is, getting back to Solomon. Uh -huh. He got to keep this charge. He got to save God against what's coming his way. And that's what his father's trying to prepare him. But his father ain't going to be there to help him. Sometimes we got to just rely on God because we can't rely on family members. We can't rely on friends. We can't rely on our job. We can't rely on our finances. We can't rely on our transportation. There's a lot of things we can't rely on, but if we just rely on God, then it'll be all right. Amen? My fourth point is Solomon got to walk in his ways. Yes. And that's to pursue one's way. In other words, it's only one way. It's God's way or it's the wrong way. And so Solomon got to pursue God's way. He got to walk in God's way. Solomon grew up in the Word, so he know, he know what David has taught him. Amen? So Solomon got to pursue God's way. Amen? To grow in his ways. Believe me, 
I've been in the ministry since 1987. All right. If I ever find myself in the ministry and I'm not growing, something is not right. Yes, sir. Tell it. Tell it. That's right. That's right. That's right. There's no way I can sit up under God's word or supposed to sit under God's word and not grow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Yes, sir. So if I ever find myself getting complacent, it's time for me to make, make a move. And I haven't done that before. Yes, it is. Not to hurt people, but mm -hmm. I, I, I'm trying to watch out for me, because yeah, yeah, I know yeah. what's dangerous for me. me. Yeah. You have to know what's dangerous for you. Yeah. How can you say go out against something and you don't understand yourself? Come on now. You got to know his ways. Amen. To walk in his ways. Amen. Amen. And my key thing in this whole message, okay. I watched Pastor last week. All right. Pastor was running around here doing all kinds of things. Y'all didn't see it. And I was just watching him and stuff. He didn't need my help because he would have asked for it if he did. Right. But he did this. He was doing that. I mean, he was even, I mean, it was weeds and stuff around the church. And I'm not trying to make nobody look bad. Right. It's just things, it's things that pastors have made a commitment to and about to. Right. And then to say, right, he right. can't. He can't have pizza by it. Right. 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 If it's yeah. something that's out of place, yeah. it, he don't have no pizza by it. Right. And so, the point I'm making all last week, mm -hmm. he was taking initiative to do this. Right. He was taking initiative to do that. Yeah. And that's the whole key in all this right, message. All right. Yeah. All right. Amen. You can have all the attributes, mm -hmm. all the gifts, all the talents yeah. and know the word of God yeah. but if you never take initiative yes. yeah. 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 it's not going to get you right. anywhere right. you're not going to grow anywhere right. you're not going to do right. anything right. stop right. waiting right. on right. other right. people yeah. to do what you can do yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. No. not only that what's my name Oh, real. Real. Let me keep it real. Uh -huh. Not only that, stop waiting and watching what others do and wait on them to do it and do what you see need to be done. You don't have to go to pastor about everything. Pastor, do you need me to do? Pastor, do you need to? Pastor, do you need? Yeah. No. If you do see it. it need done, do it. you don't need pastor permission to do certain things around here because this is who house. Wow. This is our house. Amen. We are Mount Gilead. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. And so we have to take the initiative to do what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. Yes, Brother Easton do a lot of things around here. And um, I started to make a bet with Pastor that we were some betting people. Uh -huh. Now, uh, I said, Pastor, I'm going to make a list. I'm going to put everything I do every week on the list. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give somebody $100 that they can come up here and name everything. Now, this is not everything I do. Uh, this is what I do every week. Right, and, right. But I say I ain't going to do that because there's no way y'all can name it. <laughs> I know that for a fact. Because y'all, Pastor, he the only one, the only one that knows mm -hmm. all I do. And some things I do, you might not see me do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But I do for this ministry, and I, what I'm saying, I take the initiative yeah. to get it done. Amen. Amen. And I'm not going to do nothing according to my agenda. Yeah. Everything God has put in my heart to do for Mount Gilead is to benefit Mount Amen. Gilead. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'll never forget the day I came back yeah. and I stood right there yeah. and I said, Mount Gilead, I want to rededicate myself. Yeah. I said, God to bless me with a lot of gifts and talent. Y'all still haven't seen all mm. I said, right. God has blessed me with a lot of gifts and talents. Yeah. Please use me. Yeah. Or allow me. Yeah. Because one thing I refuse to do is sit down yeah. on what God has blessed me with. Yeah. It's my yeah. gifts that God has blessed me with that has made room for me in my life today. Yeah. I live self-employed. 
for almost 12 years, 2005, when my grandmother passed. And I started doing my self-employment. Yes, I would take the health care job, but they don't pay much. But I lived by that yeah. and paid the bills. Yes, God. Amen? Amen? Because Amen. of the gifts that God has rendered to me. I am responsible for what God has given me. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. And I truly believe the word of God mm -hmm. when he took the talents from the one who had one talent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I sure don't want him to take what he has blessed me with. Yeah. So I'm going to use them to the fullest of my ability. Yeah. And this is what David is trying to get Solomon to understand. You got to serve this kingdom. You got to be a king to the fullest of your ability. You got to be a Gileadite. You got to be a servant of God. You got to be a child of God to the fullest of your ability. Yeah. If you want the fullest of your benefits. Yes. Yeah. A lot of us have shortcomings because we shorten God. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Lord. I'm just saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. And I'm just keeping it real. Keep it real. And I'm getting ready to close. Right. But like I say, here it is. Dave, David is getting his son to understand. I don't care how young you is. I did this when I was young, so you ain't got no excuse. Right, right. You ain't got no excuse. Yeah. David was 17 when they anointed him. Uh -huh. You see? Now, here it is. He said, you got to be strong. You got to show yourself a man. Right. Keep it real. You got to be consistent. Don't be wishy-washy. Right. Don't be a saint today in a son tomorrow. tomorrow. That's right. Keep it real. Unless y'all trying to get a point, a point on that series on Sunday night. <laughs> Saints and sinners. But... Now, I watched that show a couple times. I ain't seen the saints yet. No. <laughs> There's a whole lot of sin going on. Yeah. <laughs> but what I'm saying, I used to think it was a such thing. Back in the 90s, before I got locked up in 92, I used to think it was such a thing as straddling the fence because that was what I used to hear. Oh, you straddling the fence. Ain't no such thing. You either for God or you against God. Ain't no in-betweens. There's so much I done learned along the way. Yeah. You know, and I've been very close with this. 20, over 20 years ago, I stood at the same spot and preached my first sermon, All May right. the 7th. Yes. My God. And I know that's a significant day. Uh, but I preached my first sermon yes. over 20 years ago on May the 7th. Yes. Yes. And Sister Mays was the musician and choir director. Right, right. And Sister Cynthia Bird, uh, Sister Turner, Cynthia Turner, right. we call her Bird, right. she was one of the lead singers in the choir. Right. And so right. Sister Mays asked me, Reverend, what song would you like to hear? I said, I'm free. Right, right, right. And it says, I'm free. Uh, I'm no longer bound. Right, right. No more chains, chains holding, holding me. me. Yes, My so soul is amen. resting. Oh, what a wonderful blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. Now, I said that to say this. Look in the times we're living in now. Do you feel free? All right. Now, the only way I'm free today is in the Spirit of God. Amen. It's in the Word of God. Yeah. Physically, mentally, we in a dying cage because of what? It's sin all around us, it's death all around us. Unless you have Jesus Christ in your life, there's no way you can be free. Spiritually, I am free. Yes. I don't let things get me down. I don't let worry trouble me. Because I believe this here from beginning to end. Yeah. Amen. And that's what helps me Amen. be free. Amen. And Solomon told David, I mean, David told Solomon, you got to keep the word of the Lord. You got to keep this choice. Yeah. If you want to what? 
yes. prosper. Right. 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 And that's how I survived today. Amen. But I didn't learn that on my own. I learned that from a man they've been teaching me and telling me about called Jesus, named Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They told me that he came down to 42 generations. Thank God. He walked this earth three and a half years. Yeah. And at the age of 33 and a half, mm -hmm. he laid down his life. All right. Thank you, Lord. So I can be free. Free. Yes. Amen. But along the way, uh -huh. he had to be strong. Yeah. Yeah. That was the human side of him. He had to show himself a man, but yeah. what? He showed himself a humble man. Yes, sir. He showed yeah, himself yeah, yeah, a yeah. meek man. Yeah. Right. And the most important thing, he showed himself a confident man. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. He showed he kept the charge. All right. He said, and he would repeat this with no problem. I do not do what I choose to do. I do what my father say do and what I see my father do. Yeah. Right. right. That's the characteristic of a great leader. Yeah. He's led by the spirit and he do according to what God has called him to do. Yeah. We might not like and agree with yeah. everything yeah. and all, but he's going to do it by the word of God. He's going to do it by the spirit and he's hoping that we will come along. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. And not make a fuss. Right. Yeah, right. not make a fuss. Mm -hmm. But make That's a trust right. yeah. in God mm -hmm. that we can follow Him there you go. And, 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 and fulfill the vision that God has, has given Him. Yes, sir. Jesus yes, did that. He yes. walked in the ways of His Father. My God. Mm -hmm. And He had the power to do whatever mm -hmm. He chose to do. But he chose to walk in the ways of his father. And that's what Solomon going to have to do. Yeah. Solomon going to have to choose to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. The characteristic of a great leader is to know, and I got this from a friend, Mark. He, he takes me on the day. He says, one thing to one know the thing. right thing is another thing to do. do right, right. That's right. Yeah. That's the characteristic of a great leader. Right. Knowing the right thing to do and to do it. And don't allow dictations of the devil, yeah. dictations of my homies, dictations yeah. of my friends, dictations yeah. of my family, yeah. dictations of my job. Yeah. Dictations of COVID-5 yeah. to defer me. Right, 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 for right. doing what I've been called to do. I learned this from Jesus. Right, my right, right, example. Right, right. He didn't allow nothing to defer him to yeah. do what he been called to do. Yeah. And my time's up. Yeah. So he came. Right. Stay on the track. Yeah. Stay on course. Stay on the track. And he yeah. came and laid down his life yeah. for us. For yes, us. God. For us. Yes, for Even you. though we didn't deserve it. Yeah. Mm. We were just like Absalom and Adonijah, mm -hmm. deserving of a worse punishment mm -hmm. or even death, some of yes, us. Lord. And God spared our lives. Amen. But Jesus did spare his own life right. in spite of who he was dying for. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. he laid his life down on the cross knowing that his father was going to raise him up on that third day. Yeah. That's the confidence we need to have in God's word. Amen. That's the confidence we need to have in the teaching that's coming forth from the school pit. Yeah. The word of God. The yeah. instructions that we get every day. Yep, Lord. Like I say, when God raised Jesus up on that third yeah. day, it freed us up. Yeah. From having these worries, yeah. to having these doubts, to having these uh, complacent thoughts. Yeah. Amen? Amen. And so I thank God today Amen. for the journey he's taking us on. Amen. And for the flight that we are on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I thank him, Amen. the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit for being our pilots. Amen. Amen. Yes. And thank you all for flying Trinity Airlines. Amen. 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 We thank Revelation for the word that went out on today. He talked about characteristics of a great leader. All right. And that is uh, the way that you should want to be. Amen. I want you to know that either way it goes, you're a leader. Amen. Sometimes we lead in a great way. Sometimes we'll lead in a bad way. All right, say that. Yes, Amen. Lord. Yes, Lord. Because somebody's always watching you. You can be one that lead by example. Yeah. Or you can be one that lead by not doing nothing. Yes, Lord. Either way, you're going to be a leader. Yes, I can remember Pastor Thurman West. A lot of you all know him, the pastor. Uh, I forgot the name of the church, but it's old also. Southeast. Southeast uh, Baptist Church. I used to do the yard at Southeast. I went over to pick up my check. And Michelle told me, uh, the Thurman's out there, he got the check. I said, well, I didn't see Thurman when I came up. He said, he's out there in the flower bed. I said, Thurman, he had on a big old straw hat. I passed right by him, you know what I'm saying? He was in the flower bed pulling weeds. And when I saw that, I was a, I was a deacon then. I said, man, if Thurman, the pastor of this church, can get in a flower bed and pull the weeds, who am I? to sit down and wait for somebody else to pull them. That's why I pull weeds. I will wipe toilets. I cut grass. I do whatever it is for the ministry of God because God has done so much for me. This month that I'm off, I'm preparing emergency sermons. All right. Amen. I need me some emergency sermons. Like somebody, like a Rev. Mason didn't come or he couldn't be here. I want an emergency sermon that I ain't got to go. I just go in my office and get it and preach it. Because God uh, has been so good to me. You might be here on today. You might not be a pastor. You might not be a deacon, but you're a leader in some kind of way. If you haven't been leading by example, it's always good for you to come and say, Lord, I'm sorry. And ask him to give you another uh, chance to be the leader that he has called you to be. If you're here today and you want to be a better leader, I want you to come forward and ask God to give you what you need to be a better leader. Lastly, if you're here today and you don't know the Lord and you don't have a church home, I ask you to come right now while Robert is saying that you can be a part of what God has going on here in Mount Gilead. Will you come? Yeah. 
or my wife, how she felt about right, it. Right. Don't judge right. me on things that you don't really Come know. Me right. and my wife has a wonderful relationship. Hey, Amen. Yeah. And matter of fact, it just got better now because I done bought her again. Hey, man, right. look. She said, boy, look, I really, really got her, and she's been so happy. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, Brother Stewart and Reverend Stewart got her some flowers. I seem like they made those flowers, and they was just beautiful. Sister Peter, I've done an awesome job. Brother, oh, she wanted to make some poke shots. So I tell you, you know, we thank God for her, and we thank God for all of the gifts that my wife received, man, look at him. Yeah. Now, I'm, 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 I'm a little jealous. She got over $1,000. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I hope I don't come up with no 500. On the 16th, that's my anniversary, but it was planned with me and Sister Peter I did that. We talked about that last that's year. That and we made it work, work. and we thank God for Bertha Stewart that work. came and gave us a, a good word on what First Lady was all about. Yes. So to God be the glory for all that he has done. Amen. Thank you for uh, showing the love that you showed to my wife. Amen. Amen. Sister St. Rita Woods even text me and say, Pastor, that was a wonderful thing that you yes. did yes. for your wife. Amen. I see Sister Greenwood standing up. I don't know why she's standing, but it means something. Amen. 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 Good morning, my Gilead. Good morning. And Lord, I just want to say, um, you did an excellent job, Sister Bertha, everybody. Yes. And, and since we are, you know, practicing social distancing mm -hmm. with COVID, that was excellent. Amen. Yes. And she that up. And everything separated and yes. it was really nice. So yes. I'm standing because we know that this is the month we celebrate our pastor. All right. And I'm asking that we not forget our commitments and what yes. we are supposed to give. Yes. I understand that some people are having hardships. Mm -hmm. You may not be able to give what we have asked. So please yes. give what you can give. Amen. If you aren't able to meet what we have asked, just give what you can give. Amen. Everybody knows what's going on. And God more specifically knows your heart That's so don't right. feel like you know you can't give what we ask give what you can give yes, don't put Lord. nobody in the strength and give yes, what you can Lord. give and yes. this is the month that we 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 gotta even with everything going on we need to step out even more yes. to celebrate our pastor yeah he's never passed it through a pandemic That's all right, right now and it's hard i'm Amen. sure Amen. so let's step out a little more than Amen. what we That's usually right. do throughout yeah. the year and show yeah. our pastor yeah. and his wife that we love him Amen. 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 thank you thank you so much thank you so much can't, can't leave Dee Dee out. She was here a week right. before with right. Sister P. Right. 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 Doing stuff under the cover. You know what I'm saying? All the rest of the women, we thank God for all of you. Uh, uh, I know who Kim loves. You know what I'm saying? I found out. <laughs> you know she wouldn't come out for me. <laughs> Boy, when she heard about Sister Four, she came out. So we thank God for all of you. May God bless you. I encourage you to be in Bible study on Tuesday. Yes, yes. Uh, we, you know, we got some wonderful lessons. So we yes, thank God uh, for all that has happened. Amen. May God bless you and keep you in my prayer. Amen. Let us dismiss. Amen. To God be the glory for all he has done. Amen. 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 Amen.